Hello there, grumpy old teacher here. Yes, I am in pajamas. Check out my shoes. We're the Bulldogs. I got nothing wrong with it. Why? Because it's Spirit Week. Dress up for Spirit Week. You sit here and say, well, how in the world does that make me a better teacher? How does that end up doing a better instruction? I'll tell you what it does. It creates modeling for the students, particularly the freshmen. They don't know whether or not they should dress up. They want to see what in the world's going on. Show them what is appropriate and what is not appropriate. Today, we're wearing pajamas. Tomorrow, it's going to be something else. Make sure that you show them what it's supposed to be like for a spirit week. When I first got here, hardly any teachers, it was a bunch of old teachers, about as old as I am now, hardly any of them dressed up. The pep rallies were not exciting. I, it, it, you know, the next thing you know, we get some new teachers coming in. They all don't have a problem. They all dress up for all the spirit days. All of a sudden it creates school spirit. It creates an environment where the kids are having fun for that week. It creates an environment of being together. That's what's important. So go ahead, wear your goofy clothes. I got a former athlete of mine. He's now a superintendent in the Kansas City area. He wears interesting socks. It's creating an environment for the kids to see him and they'll be able to approach him. He shows that he's approachable. So go ahead, wear the goofy clothes. You can still teach. There's no big deal. I tell you what, number one around here is by far the pajama days. They love seeing my dogs. Okay? There's nothing wrong with it. Don't act stuck up and you're not going to do anything. Do it. Who cares? All right? Try it. Now get off my lawn.